describe uh, the dressing room after Sunday. Oh, great day, you know. Uh, it's a terrific win. You can see the nation is proud. Things change apparently. Um, Load shedding stopping for months. <laughs> no, it's, it's good, you know. Um, I'm glad that we qualified for F1. I think it was well deserved, and uh, you know, it's also good being part of the setup again. But obviously, you know, the place is not cemented there. Um, still got quite a while, still a few games. Uh, and just got to be consistent. And hopefully, I'll be back and be called up to the F1 side. But um, it's good, you know. Uh, after a good while, and I'm sure you saw the reception that you received, very welcoming, and it's something that you can't really describe. You have to be there to know the feelings. Yes, I'm sure a lot of the other players would also like to be part of the squad once the F1 starts. You know, we have a lot of good players in our team that can be there, so obviously starting this weekend, they have to start proving themselves. Is that the reason you bring to, to, to the dressing room here? Yeah. 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 You're saying there's a lot of people who are reserved for this day. Is that sort of motivation as well, more than just the net bank up and kind of finishing a respectable position? Yes, of course. You know, um, if you can keep consistency with the team going forward, uh, there's what seven, eight games left in the league. We've got a net bank up to play for, and I think well, if we all bring it together, um, uh, I mean, we've got more than enough internationals in the team uh, in other countries and in our own team. Where you've got Rama, you've got Vito. Unfortunately, injured uh, level. Hopefully, he can get back to full fitness. I think he's a great player. Tart, he's almost back. So, you know, he's training with the team. So, it's a bit of motivation for them also in pass off. Has the conversation started already? Kama, Timich, and they've also qualified. Kings have also qualified. Um, is the Egypt conversation already started? No, look, I think that's still, you know, that's in the past now. Everyone's qualified. And I think we've shifted our focus back to the event cup. Uh, it's a big one for us. And I think uh, it's better that you shift focus straight away instead of hanging, letting it hang in the air and, uh, you know, always dwelling on the past. That's in the past and we're looking through to, to, to the future now. And realistically, it's the only chance for Sydney. Yeah, um, I think we all know that. Uh, the league's uh, basically gone. I think we've drawn a bit too many games. And we've got the net bank to play for now. I mean, it's four years without a trophy, and we need to stop that. Uh, it's been tough, a very tough four years. And we don't owe it to ourselves, actually, owe it to our fans and to the club. Um, and this is a good chance to start, you know. Cape Town City, one of the bigger teams in the, in the Cup. Last night you saw um, TTM go through. Or TS, TS sorry, TS Galaxy go through. And uh, they also, you know, the, the hand, Dan Malicena, what, the, Three semi-finals, right? Yes. So they're also hungry to play, and it's not gonna. Uh, well done to them. Uh, now it's just uh, between us, Golden Arrows, uh, Room Celtic, and Cotton City, and uh, we know we we have our objective, and we're gonna go and finish this objective or winning the League Cup. You mentioned uh, it's it's not um, motivation is, is basically just the cup now. Um, you mentioned the title rivals. What, what does it all culminate to? I mean, the fact that you've gone four years without them, you said it's not for yourself, it's for the fans, but since you've got, uh, arrived here, I mean, I'm sure you came here to, to win trophies. Uh, surely you, you also owe it to yourself to actually prove that you know what you came to Chiefs and, and you didn't get a trophy. Yeah, of course. You know, everyone comes to Chiefs to win trophies. But at the moment, I don't even think anyone wants to come here because we know they're not winning anything. Uh, still a big club, still a great brand. But I mean, if you're not winning trophies in that, it's, you know, people start turning around and they say they want to win trophies. So I think once we can get that culture back, uh, people are going to want to come in here. And I came here to win trophies. It's just uh, unfortunate that I haven't won one yet. Uh, maybe I brought the bad luck. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm not yet. So it's just, uh, the, you know, it's the way, the way football is. Um, but... Uh, I'm confident that I will win a cup with the team, um, hopefully starting now, and not just one cup, a few cups. Um, I think since Ernst come in, he's changed it around, and I think once we have a full pre-season under him, uh, things will be a lot different, you know. Uh, you can see the way the style of football's changed, and 
So yeah, let's see. Uh, starting this week Sunday, um, Cape Town City is a good team. Uh, you saw their last two games. They beat uh, Wits and Sundowns, coming back from behind. So it's just something that uh, we gotta we gotta keep in mind. You know, if we go one 0 up or two 0 up or whatever the story is, that you can't fall asleep because they've done it in the past and they can come back to win. So we we gotta be on our toes. And it's it's not a smaller team that you're playing now. Uh, in the past two rounds, we played against. Uh, Multiple sides, um, and uh, it was tough. I think we made it tough on ourselves because you know we didn't take opportunities, didn't kill the game off, but went to extra time both times. And I think uh, if we can learn to kill games off uh, a lot, e a lot earlier in the game, and let it not let it drag, it will be easier for us. So let's see how it goes. Also playing in front of uh, a sold out and Bombella Stadium, the players you guys rejected. It's difficult to disappoint um, people who came with 90% um, support. Yeah, look, uh, always, it's always great to play in a, a crowd that's there, that's full, you know. Uh, what's the capacity? I'd say about 40,000. Yeah, 45,000. Yeah, you know, it's always great. Uh, it's, it's motivation again for us. Fans always urge us to do well. And we, as you know, losing in front of a crowd like that, or drawing in front of it, they, they start having doubt. We don't want to, we don't want to put doubt in our, in our fans' heads anymore. You know, we want to, we want them to come and enjoy it, and we want to enjoy it ourselves. Uh, if you see when Sundowns play, how they go and enjoy with the fans, there, I mean, it's, it's great to see. And I think it's also something that we need to start doing is interacting more with our fans after the games. I think they'll it shows appreciation to the fans, and uh, once we start doing that, they'll see that uh, we also show loyalty to them. Something that you guys will do. We, you know, we really do. I mean, after the games they're going and they're singing and dancing with the fans, and the fans make it make it nice for them. You know, uh, they they join them and instead of booing them and chasing them away, and that's what I wish the fans could do with us. You know, instead of if we do get a draw, uh, it's a result, it's a point. Uh, instead, they they turn around, they wave their hands at us, and I, I ask them to rather show us the support. You know, we're only humans. It's we're not robots. It's, we're not going to win every game. So. I think the fans can turn around and you know help us out and keep us going forward. Cape, Cape Town is not always the best travellers. It's a long way for them from Cape Town to Mbembele. Is that a bit of an advantage? Yeah, I think it is. You know, uh, very hot in Alsprat, mm. and we're playing at three o'clock, mm. so I don't think they're going to be too used to it. Um, it's an advantage to us, but we've got to use that advantage. You know. Um, we can't go there thinking, ah, oh, it's going to be an easy game, they, they're travelling so far and we we got to be positive about it and use that advantage. I mean, 3 o'clock there is going to be a scorcher, I mean, it's hotter than Joburg and it's, maybe that's why we took the game out there, you know, uh, Joburg also, when they come to Joburg they, they struggle a bit, but they're going up into, up into the atmosphere there. And, yeah, and you know the Kruger Park gets very, very hot, and obviously they're used to the sea and the low altitude. So let's see how close. Did you, Tom Sanko, did this come up at all when you were in Nah, we, we didn't really chat about the game. Obviously, we knew we were facing each other, but you know, we focused more on the game in, in Libya than focusing on the Libyan Cup. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.